Uh, my name's Steve Phillips. I'm the Hunter Regional Coordinator for the Lock the Gate Alliance. I've been working with the Bulga community for the, only for the last couple of years uh, against the to try and help them stop Rio Tinto's massive Mount Thorley Walkworth coal mine expansion that threatens to obliterate their town. But the local community in Bulga have been working on it for a lot longer than that, and of course they've got a lot more writing on it than I do as well. Anne-Marie McLaughlin from Bulga, everybody. Our town is surrounded by open-cut mines. Mount Thorley Walkworth Mine clangs and it grumbles and groans 24-7, 363 days a year. Rio Tinto, get this one, Rio Tinto assures Bulga and the residents there that noise and dust levels will actually decrease as the mine gets closer. Oh, 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 oh. No, the, no, they say, no, no, no. There'll be no problem with dust. Bulga residents continue to fight to preserve their environment and protect their health against a mine extension that Rio Tinto itself promised that it would never seek. When back in 2003, they signed a ministerial deed of agreement. We deserve justice. <laughs> Premier Baird and Minister Stokes, all I can say to you is, you are the ones who deserve coal for Christmas, not Bulga. <laughs> And I am here to say, and as I'm sure all of you are here to say, the people of Sydney stand with the community of Bulga. This is not your fight alone. We are here to stand in solidarity with you. As Steve mentioned, Wakwa Sands Woodland is a critically endangered ecological community that only exists around Singleton. It is that endangered, it is that special and that precious. It is a critical wildlife habitat for squirrel gliders, glossy black cockatoos, and a number of other threatened species. And so this area was meant to be preserved in perpetuity through the New South Wales offset system. But because the New South Wales government in Rio Tinto are so hell-bent on letting this, go, this mine go through, no matter the cost, they allowed Rio Tinto to just scrap that plan to protect this area in perpetuity. This area that sits on the ridge, the last ridge that stands between the community of Volga and the mine.